Well, good morning to you folks. Gotta speak quiet because I'm traveling with Jesse and he's just conked out. He had a busy night sleeping. So, uh, I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records and Jesse Lee, who y'all just saw again, we're going out to the Canton Flea Market. Maybe hit some places on the way back. You know, just part of the routine that I've got to do because this is what I do. Best job I ever had. So, uh, we're going to go out. It's a beautiful day. Don't let that deceive you. We've got a whole bunch of wicked stuff coming in from the west, apparently. So, maybe we've got three hours or so before that stuff starts really moving in. So, we'll see what happens. Make hay while the sun shines. No pun intended. That's just what we're going to do. Uh, hello, I'm Max Stevens. I make hay. That just doesn't have the same ring. All right. Let's move on down the line, as old Earl Hooker once said. Neat, neat, neat. Now, George Hare. I've got to see who Vernell is. Ooh, ooh. Rough, we'll see. One of my video somebody said there's just too much flipping of records though <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah yeah well, i thought well that's yeah, that's kind of kind of what we're doing here yeah. yeah it's kind of the whole point oh isn't that pretty horrible music but really pretty record you okay jess yes, ah good he's still alive uh that's, I don't want to open that, that's 80s anyway. I bought one of these the other day and made the mistake of playing it. And he went, oh, it's a polka and it looks so good. Oh yeah. Echo it. I bet you that's country, but I'm gonna play it. That's country. Wasn't the, wasn't the best of groups so far. But nah, it's, okay. it's fine. Man, it's records. And then you've got some more hiding do, under I, there I, too, I, I think. I do. I've good, got a little bit good. here. Stuff. We definitely won't play Curtis Potter. I love that label. There's some newer, yeah, newer records with, you know, so I don't know why I put them in there. I don't know what that is. So I might like some, you know, it's the 80s, you know. Yeah. David Allen Cole or something. From, you know, some, might be appealing to somebody. Is he still alive? I guess he is. I think so, but i um, surprised. He's got enough people chasing after him or whatever. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, yeah. Wee Willie Walker. Yeah. I know the name. Well, maybe I'm thinking of Wee Willie, somebody else. But Bird Watchers. Who was that the other day? The karate record. Or maybe I saw it and didn't, but I saw that just recently. That's country. Uh, yeah. 80s blues, you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Got to play it if it says non-fiction. That doesn't sound country. Got to be country, but let's play it and make sure it ain't a soul record. Very happy with Austin, though. Huh? Yeah, it was great. Uh, unexpectedly good. I mean... The, uh, I thought it was just going to this be... This is some uh, some things you've seen before. Sure. And some of it is a couple of... Anyway. Shiloh. Are you familiar with Shiloh? No. Well... That was Don Henley's first little band uh, uh -huh. produced by Kenny Rogers. And it's a, it's not great condition, but, it, you know, it is of, is of note to those kind of people. I'll take and, a look at it. And, that, and is this is a soul or something or well no it's a uh, beach boy really oh okay stuff. oh i remember so these a, yeah I, I showed you those once upon a time and i was going to yeah. show them to rich so i thought i would at least let you you know yeah look at him and see if you would want them he may probably anyway. want them but uh pick anything you know if you right. see anything at all it's totally up to you well dave's got some scrapbooks here of cool stuff some Ernest tub related things and stuff like that as soon as i get my hat all settled Oh, look at that. Must be in the 70s. They got long hair. It was just his aunt. Uh, oh, man. Had known him quite well. And Isn't that neat? Yeah. Took a sudden, of course, Polaroid photos. And 
the Ernest tub. I think that was the woman there. That, you know. Anyway, but anyway. Well, some somebody liked him. <laughs> he getting a hug. There's a a man from Athens. Oh, Tony Douglas. Yes. Man. That was an interesting, somewhat interesting photo. Yep. But, you know, got to be, you know, anyway. You just, oh, I like those shirts. Uh, autograph. Is, you know. <laughs> I like to wear this. He said, I know I don't have the best voice, but he still made good money. Yeah, look at there. He's age 61. 1974. Dang, he'd be coming up on 100. Yeah, Ernest know. was from Crisp, Texas. Just over near... Uh, uh, where you call that? Uh, Ennis. Over in that area. Really? Yeah. Man. I once had an Elvis picture from 55. He had come out of the bathroom and it said men. And then he was kind of blurred because somebody snapped his wow. picture just as he was coming out of the wow. toilet. Oh, yeah. Newsletters, fan club. Oh, where he's playing and everything. Yeah. Charlie and Stoney in Louisiana. Boonus Highway 23. Charlie. Wow, what a cool picture. Oh, man. Case guy. I know Case guy. Isn't that a, that a big guy there? Dallas thing? Or? Yeah. Yeah, it's in there. Going to have to take some heat to possibly get that off. Yeah, let's see. Red, green on base. You know, one time I made up a, on my first wreck, first 45 I put out. I played all the instruments. It's, it's ripping it right oh, there. I would not want to rip that then. Well, maybe not. Maybe that was his belt buckle that I'm yeah. looking at. It looked like part of the part of the photo was still sticking to that thing. I need to blow yeah. it or I don't know. And I made up a name for the bass player and I put red green because that was uh <laughs> Yeah, it's got a rip in there, so I'm not going to. I don't see any other writing. So there's red. Ooh, red's got a neat weird face, don't he? Oh, that is so cool. Well, cool. Bought that picture 78 and a couple of 45s. Wasn't much to it today, but he told me that in advance, and I'm just glad he showed them to me. Bought a few good pictures, too, four or five of those photographs. Uh, none of Ernest Tubb, though, but some of the lesser-known bands and singers, the older ones. I'll show them to you in a little bit. Now we got stuff to do here. I think on my 245s are new. I hadn't went through. Fantastic. Pop promos, radio copies. Yes. So I'm asking five before I even go through them. You got it. That's good enough. That all came out of one state. Oh, neat. Neat, neat. I'll look at those first. Seventies. Red Simpson. Roll truck roll. Yeah. All right. Let me see more of those sunshines. No, pretty labels though. No. What is that? Linda Mujer. Ooh, made in Cuba. I'm in. Got an edge chip. Doesn't quite reach that first groove though. So that's kind of neat. Mm. 
Dusty Fletcher. Hey, there might be some stuff hiding in here. Songs of the Red Army. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, I'm going to have to check all of these others because they ain't got the right records in them. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. So I bought that Cuban 78 and a couple of other hot dance band type things. Or just whatever they are. Boyd Center. Blanche Calloway. I went back to the car and put them away. I don't want to walk around lugging 78s unless I have to. Best job I ever had. Let's go over to this end. Jesse Lee's good as another pair of eyes and pair of feet. This looks cool. Stereophonic. Oh man, oh man. That's really sharp. I don't need more of those at the moment though. All right. We got some country 78s. Good. Okay, looks like we're done here. We might hit some more places on the way back. I don't know. We'll see. Knee is paining me just a bit. Not badly, but you know. Ooh, somebody dropped their beads. Ah. Well, all right, I'll show you what I got before I put them away. I didn't get the 45s out of the car yet. Just a couple of them. Linda Mujer means pretty lady or pretty woman. Sonora Matancera. That's from out of Cuba. Pretty tough 78, I think. Then I got the uh, Need Lovin' by Blanche Calloway and her Joy Boys. Kind of neat. Boyd Center, St. Louis Blues, guitar by Eddie Lang. Plays great, looks great, is great. Then, Adorable Waltz. This is hard. Leo Reisman and his orchestra. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that nice? Then I got some good photographs. There's, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, Stoney Carlisle and Charlie. Mid-60s. Same guys right there, playing music. And then, that is cool. Red Green on bass. Not the guy on the PBS show, Red Green show. I don't know the rest yet, but KSKY, I think, is a Dallas station. So, I'm going to find out. But that's a great picture. And this is Wayne Park. Wayne Busby. I don't know. If it was Wayne Busby, that would be a good thing. But anyway, that's just cool. Isn't that cool?